Japanese class and I but I needed to catch up on that sleep um, so I was able to do that last night and today and um, I had a beautiful 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 long shower um, and a nice pamper session and now I've just gone down to do my laundry and um, yeah that's currently in the works and I'm going to do dishes and stuff. It's basically like what housekeeping today until I have class. Like I have a late class. I've been listening to Kala. She released another single, um, Blue something, and it's really nice. I'm gonna see her live in a couple of months. No, next month. So should be fun. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, and I don't know if I showed you guys, I probably have, I'll show you again, my like mood wall kind of thing. It just brings my personality back into the room. It was, I'm really needing something like this rather than something like super academic like that. So I'm really happy that I've got this in my room. And um, yeah, I don't know, I kind of want to add more stuff up there. But I need some blue tack and like stuff over there. Like I'm gonna get some fairy lights to just decorate that part. And then some blue tack. I don't know. It's not the ending. It's not the ending. It's a hide out of nothing. You'll look waste the night. Going in circles. But I'll We're going to see her live. Kiko, Kiko, Kiko. Don't let Don't let anybody steal your magic. Yeah. I got so much, y'all. I'm sure this life's just as it just seems. But it's better than that, it's cool. Renaissance. Oh, oh it's really nice. <laughs> welcome to my show. Hi, welcome to my show. Are <laughs> you joining me? Yes, my friend is groping my booty as we speak. Thank you, Jay. Um, what can I say? Uh, it's been difficult, it's been hard. I've got a spot on my chin, I don't know where it's come from. <laughs> yeah, I think stripping is the way I want to go. <laughs> I'm just listening to Kalala nonstop. Why not? Bathroom. Just have some drinks. Okay. Fighting, crying, trying to save the world. Here they come just in time. The power of girls. So I have some quiche in the oven right now. It is roasted peppers, spinach, and feta. I love all of those things. So, yeah, let's go and check on it. Good for these eyebrows. They're like square kind of look. See, it's my cute. That's my best feeling. I went for a square kind of look. And then I just put a bit of her Rihanna Fenty like shimmer um, underneath my eyes and on my eyelids and on my nose. Moscow Mule, that's what it's called. Moscow Mule by Fenty Beauty. And my eyebrows with Etude House's, um, what's it called? <laughs> Etude House's like pencil 
I eyebrow pencil and I also used um, the eyebrow tint from Etude House to draw my brows. So yeah, that's my look. Tell me, what was your look today? Wow, I was like, I'm gonna go for the wonky um, eyeliner. That's why there's three, because yeah. those were three attempts. Okay, that okay. I made it a look, because I, I wasn't going to wipe it off. Mm -hmm. and I just put a red chick on it. I'm going cross eyes. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Can't show now. I have references for what I'm doing, like before me doing it. Like I have so many. So this notion, there was a sort of, there was a rhetoric around it being like um, the first time, not just with me, but with other peers of mine, um, being like the first time that RV got innovative or something. It just like. <laughs> Let's just take it all. <laughs> and then build our own institution. And fuck these people. I don't even know what it is, but I just love that. I love that. So, and I, you know, I don't know if that's for me, but I just know that that's one of the ways that you can fuck it up. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> one, two. You guys can all move up. Move up. psychedelic filter is actually beetroot juice. I look like um, I've been as told by Ginger when I do this. Someone once told me the grass was much greener on the other side. Well, I paid a visit and I sure I would miss it. Feels different, but exactly the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Till further notice, I'm in between. From where I'm standing, someone once told me the grass was much greener. On the other side It is now the following, like the first day, the next Thursday. So I went to see Kalella on Thursday and it has been a week since then. Um, so yeah, today, not today, but yes, today, I was at my best friend's house, Lisa, and um, the night before, we had a pre-birthday celebration because it is her birthday today. Um, and the night before that, I was at Ben's house, um, and the night before that, 
I was with my best friend Nemo. So I've been pretty busy and I just came back, well I didn't just come back but today I had my Japanese class and it's a late kind of evening class and I've just had a shower. Okay, um, I don't have a day off <laughs> um, and it's finally like starting to catch up with me. Um, so I was sleeping a whole bunch, like when I have time to sleep, I will sleep because I can get, I need like as much sleep as I can get. But yes, I wanted to share with you guys what I got from Kalella's um, event, the signing with her, which was so amazing. And I want to tell you guys how I felt <laughs> throughout the process, as you can probably see in this video, the clips from before. Um, I seemed quite excited and quite relaxed in comparison to my friends, I think. Um, and I don't know, it was just really nice to see her. She had a very ethereal kind of aura. She was well spoken, but also has her own kind of principles. And she speaks from her own personal experience in the music industry and how she represents herself, how different demographics um, interpret her music. Um, and it was just quite, like, it was nice to hear an artist, a musical artist, speak um, in a way that wasn't a very like prescribed, like um, in a way that they're just simply promoting their music. Because oftentimes you get artists who simply, I mean, you can tell that they're saying such pre-rehearsed things, and it gets very tiresome to watch and quite boring, to be honest. So it was nice for her to like kind of divulge on another level, and it was interesting. Um, it was very interesting, of course it was held at the SOAS University, so there was a academic kind of perspective and she was speaking about certain concepts like intersectionality, but I don't know, I just found it really, oh my gosh I love this one, I found it really really interesting and yeah, I just found it super interesting and I'm so glad I was able to meet Kalela. Um, it was very fun and um, it was just really nice kind of inspiring, <laughs> it's cliche but inspiring night and um, yeah I still hold her up as like one of my, I don't really like to idolise people but one of the people I admire. My head's cut off, great, um, by her. Thank you Marcus for the love. Oh maybe I'll just show you closer up Hallucinogen, so that's the album, Hallucinogen. But I believe it has more, more like the whole, whole discography because that's what she said. Oh no, tell a lie. It's just a message. Comment us, I rewind. Oh, rewind is such a great song. All the way down, such a great song. The high, such a great song. A message, such a great song. So yeah, it's just those six tracks. A message. Comment us, I rewind. All the way down, hallucinogen, and the high. Awesome. I love this album. It's probably one of yeah, it's my favorite of hers today. Mm, yeah, this is my favorite. This is Kalela laying down with her beautiful red locks and curl beads. And then this is just like fragmented pictures of her body. Or pictures of her body fragmented. I believe this is her waist. Um, this is, I think. Her like shoulder blade, her neck. I'm not sure. And this is her neck. Like download kind of card to her album. But I already have it on Apple Music. But anyway, <gasps> crap! This was the free download. 